germaphobes. What's up you guys? About six months ago, I cleaned the greasiest, dirtiest stove top that I have ever seen in my entire life. And this is that infamous stove right here. On that video, I only had a few hours to be able to clean up the stove and I did not get to clean all of it up just because I was short of time and I had a lot of viewers requesting that I go back and finish cleaning the stove top. It's a relative of mine. We came back to visit him again and so while I'm here, I'm gonna finish cleaning this off. And as you can see in this video clip right here, there is still a lot of work to be done. There is so much built up grease all over the stove. And I think you're really gonna enjoy watching this stove get clean. If you wanna see the original video of when I cleaned that stove top, I'm gonna put a link to that right here. Also, if you are new to Clean Freaking Dermaphobe, we love to clean and organize and disinfect. And in this case, we're gonna help out this gentleman who just doesn't know how to clean himself. That's okay, he spent his whole life married to a woman who did all the cleaning for him. He went to work, she did the cleaning. He's very old now, he can't clean for himself very easily, and so we're gonna do it for him. I'm really excited to see the transition. It's gonna be amazing. Let's get going. So when I cleaned the stove top about six months ago, I cleaned it using ammonia and it worked amazingly well. I could not believe how the fat and the grease just melted off. But some of my viewers commented on how they didn't really prefer to work with ammonia because it is such a strong and caustic cleaner and I agree it totally is. So I'm just going to test out a few other things and see how it compares to ammonia and that way you guys can have um, some options whether you want to scrub a little bit more using something that's less caustic or if you would rather just bite the bullet and use ammonia which in my opinion works the very very best for cutting really thick layers of grease so let's do that and we'll test that right up here in this horrendously greasy area right here so the first thing that I'm going to use is easy off I always always use the fume free version now I will admit there still is a fume it's not totally totally fumeless but it still does a great job and it is not as strong as the original easy off The next thing I will try is Zep degreaser. Next one I'm going to try is this. This is called Totally Awesome Cleaner. It's just from the Dollar Tree, but I have to say it really, really does quite an amazing job at cleaning up grease. So we'll use that one here. The last thing I'm going to use is ammonia. This is just saturated with a paper towel. And then I'm just gonna cover all of that with saran wrap. I think that helps for the product to stay in place and work a little bit better. It also keeps the ammonia fumes at bay. I actually decided that I'm gonna saturate everything with paper towels and place it on here the way I had with the ammonia because the cleaner's just dripping off. This is too thick. I really need the cleaner to contact the surface a little bit better, so we're gonna try that with all of the cleaners just to make it fair. I'm not gonna do it with the Easy Off because it's in foam form. It helps to stay in place. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit and uh, we'll come back in a little while and check on it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So this has been sitting for about four hours, so let's see how it's doing. Okay, so this was the Easy Off and oh my goodness, it actually peeled off the paint. Now, in Easy Off's defense, they don't instruct you to cover it with saran wrap. That's just something I like to do to make it a little bit more potent, so that happened. I'm not too concerned. It was already peeling off up here, so we'll talk to the owner <laughs> and I think he'll be okay about that. But um, this right here is the Zep degreaser and that isn't budging at all. This right here is the Totally Awesome Cleaner. And I mean, that's coming off a little bit, but uh, this is so thick. You definitely have to do a couple of treatments to get this off layer by layer because it is that thick. And then this right here is the ammonia. Let's see how this did. Oh, well, it's kind of peeling off already on the paper towel. 
also, I mean, again, it's really, really thick, but you can see this is definitely coming off a lot better. So, you know, when it comes to how you want to treat your grease on your stovetop, it's up to you. If you prefer something that's a little bit less caustic, I would go with that Totally Awesome from Dollar Tree. It actually works the second best in this test right here, but if you want to skip all that and you just want to get it done, I would recommend the ammonia. And so here's where I get to give my disclaimer about ammonia. It is very caustic. You definitely want to wear gloves where you're using it. Make sure to work in a ventilated area and have all the windows and doors open and when possible, work with it outside if you can. So for me, for this bottom part right here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ammonia. I'm gonna soak it in paper towels and I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Let's see how it does. Okay, so this is just ammonia. You can buy it from any grocery store. And then I'm gonna have a bowl here. I'm gonna fill this up with ammonia. I've got all of the windows open, wide open, because this gets really quite strong. So we're gonna work quickly, because after we are finished applying it, we're gonna cover it up with some plastic wrap so that it doesn't smell too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna saturate these paper towels with the ammonia. And then, because they're wet, they're pretty sticky, I'm just going to put them right there on the wall. So the reason I saturate the paper towels in the ammonia is to help keep it concentrated right on the greasiest spots. And the reason why I then cover it with the saran wrap or with the plastic wrap is because it helps keep the ammonia from drying out on the paper towels so that it can work effectively for longer. I will also point out that I would never use ammonia for a small job. I would only personally use this for really big, dirty, tough jobs because it is so strong. I think there are plenty of products that work really well, that totally awesome that I showed you, that work just fine for regular jobs. The other reason I like using the saran wrap is it does trap the fumes in. So once I have this all covered, I'm not gonna smell the ammonia nearly as strong and that makes a big difference. I could let this set all night, but I'm gonna just check this in a few hours and see how it's doing. See how thick that is? So I'm just gonna let that soak for a little bit. That will take it right off. Ooh, look at that right there. Two hours later.
we really didn't cover that very well, obviously. <laughs> That's not coming off at all. forgot to show you the handles. Let's see how they fared out. And they are looking pretty happy. All right, so I'm gonna finish scrubbing these down and then I will show you how it finally looks. Focus in here, do a little bit of detail work. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Gross, for sure, gross, but very, very cool. So this is our last spot. I have to be honest, I don't have high hopes for it. I think this grease is kicked on too thick. This hood might be beyond all repair. It was in poor shape anyways because of uh, some of the paint peeling off, partially just because it's old and partially my doing because I put Easy Off on it and then covered it and apparently I didn't like that. But we'll see, oh my goodness. I have little hope that this is gonna help. I think that this hood is too far gone. I think the grease is just too thick. Look, you can see it dripping back there. Ugh. So plus, uh, the paint was already peeling partially on its own and partially my doing because of the easy off. But, you know, as far as the grease coming off, you can see it's coming off a little bit right there. I mean a little bit, but I will tell you that's gonna take way more scrubbing than I like to do. So it begs the question of, are some things uncleanable? This might be one of them. But the rest of the stove looks amazing. I'm gonna go show you that now. So this stove looks pretty amazing. There are a few spots back here where I could not get it clean. That's where the ammonia dried overnight and so that process didn't work as well um, today. But the owner now knows what to do. He's able to clean it up so that he can clean it off. He also knows how to prevent it from getting this messy again. The other thing that I didn't do, if you'll notice, I think you can't miss it, is that I did not do the grates today they definitely need to be done but that wasn't on the schedule for today i didn't have enough time um, to do that maybe next time because this home still needs a lot of work but as far as the vast majority of the stove top and the front of the oven i'm so happy i hope you are too Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. This kitchen needs a lot of work. We spent a long weekend trying to help this gentleman out. Not only did we work on his stove, we worked on his kitchen floor, which was horrendous. And we also worked on his sink, which was really filthy and unsanitary. So we got a lot done this weekend. I'm exhausted, um, but feeling pretty good. 
If you want to see the original video where I clean the stove top, I will put that in the video description down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody that would like it as well, share it with them. And of course, hit subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. We actually have a ton of videos where we take something that is really dirty and filthy and we make it look clean and new again. We have a whole playlist of it, in fact, and I'm going to put a link to that playlist right here. Click on that and we will see you over there.